I'm Dale Wright and welcome to another episode of Bird Matters, a video series about the world of birds and the environment we share. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the ATF, that is the Albatross Task Force, and the plight of these magnificent birds. Albatrosses, magnificent and vulnerable. Beautiful, large, graceful, circumnavigating creatures, big wingspans and even bigger lifespans, some living for up to 60 years. It takes about 10 years for them to mature and then they partner for life. Their beauty was not lost on the poet Coleridge, who drew attention to the cost of the senseless killing of just one albatross in his poem, The Ancient Mariner. But today, sadly, albatrosses are being killed in their thousands. Along with all the usual environmental challenges that birds face, they face two major challenges. The first, the introduction of predators to their island breeding grounds, where they are literally being eaten alive. But we'll cover that in another episode. And secondly, conflict with trawler and long line fishing, where they're attracted to bait and become bycatch. The fisherman loses a fish, the albatross loses its life. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the ATF. The Albatross Task Force is a joint initiative between a host of countries and organizations all working together to eradicate or at least dramatically reduce the death of seabirds from fishing vessels. There's a great video produced by the RSPB, that is the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, that explains everything. There's some great albatross images. You see how the albatrosses are actually caught by the fishing lines. The video also looks at the success rate from the introduction of bird scaring lines, which literally scare the birds away. This method is incredibly simple and has been really successful. So check out the full RSPB video by clicking on the link at the end of this video. Back in Cork Bay, Cape Town, we caught up with Pocomoso Lebepe, one of BirdLife South Africa's Albatross Task Force staff. You can catch his full video by clicking on the link at the end of this video. So my name is Mukamu Solubebe. I work for BirdLife South Africa's Albatross Task Force. At first, I wasn't necessarily interested in birds. I'm more interested in nature as a whole, so not just birds. So I'm, I'm interested more in the whole ecology and all the ecological factors that affect living systems. But I had a very deep connection with the sea, so that's where my passion started. And I just happened to start working with birds when I started going to Goch Island. So I saw the albatrosses and they were such magnificent birds and I started to fall in love with them. Around the 1990s, uh, BirdLife International actually recognized that uh, a lot of seabirds were getting killed behind fishing vessels. So that's when BirdLife International uh, started the BirdLife International Marine Program, which uh, actually gave birth to the Albatross Task Force in 2006. So as an Albatross Task Force instructor, we go out to sea to create awareness. So that's just explaining to fishermen what the problems are, showing them exactly what's happening out at sea and, and showing them the solutions that are available. We are talking with fishermen, explain to them about uh, ocean conservation because it's hard to explain to someone about extinction when you have 500 birds around the vessel. The fishermen were a little bit skeptical in, in the view that they thought we were going to stop them fishing, not that we're actually there to help them just fish in a sustainable way. Um, but now I've been working with them for five years and they no longer see us as a threat. So apparently one of the oldest known living birds, a female Lasian albatross, has just returned to her breeding grounds at the tender age of over 65 to lay an egg and raise her young. So that's it from me for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. But most importantly, get out there and connect with nature. You're as much of a part of it as the birds.